Hi everybody, <clears throat> today we're going to look at how you put a YouTube video into a Google Form. Uh, so we're going to start with our Google Form and the important thing to do is make sure you open it from Google Drive. And once you open it up, you'll see the area that's labeled questions. This is going to show you your edited area of the form. So once you're in this form, this part of the form, you can edit titles, descriptions, questions, and add things to it. The important thing here is that we want to go down to the area here where it says section two of two. This is the second page of the form and where we will embed the video. And so what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to make sure that the section part is highlighted. So you want to make sure it's blue. What that means is that just shows that that's the area that you are currently editing. And now this is important because we want to put the YouTube video below this section. And so when it's highlighted, and then we go over to our toolbar on the right hand side here, we're going to select add video. So you can see that is the little video icon kind of looks like a YouTube logo. And when we select that, that will pop up our video option. And so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to select it might default you to video search just depends, we're going to select URL. And we're going to go to YouTube to find the video that we want to plug into the Google form. So I already have that up where this is the one, uh, one from the ROE here. And I'm going to find the video. And then I will go down and find the, the share button. So I'll select the share button here. And what that's going to do is bring up this URL. Okay, so I will go ahead and click copy on that. And this is just giving me the link back to this video, but we need to embed it into our Google form. So I'll go back to our form now and then paste that in. You can see it brings up that YouTube video. I'll hit select. And then because we had this highlighted, it dropped a video underneath of that title. If we would have had the questions highlighted, and then selected video, it would have put it below the questions. So we don't want to do that. We want to make sure this is highlighted and then select add video. Now, once this video is in here, we can give it a title, something generic for this example, but then also you can click on these three dots and maybe center align it. And also if you click on the video itself, you can make it bigger by pulling out the boxes. And that's just going to make it a little bit larger for your viewer. So once you have that done, your form is ready to go. Now to send the Google form out, you're going to go up to the purple button in the top right hand corner of your screen where it says send. You select that. And from here, you have the opportunity to send it via email, but I don't particularly like this and you guys are going to be posting them uh, to another platform. So what you'll do is select the link button in the middle kind of looks like a, a chain link. It gives you a link here, which we will click copy. And then from there, you can see the link is copied to your clipboard. So then you can go to Facebook, Twitter, email, any platform. And when you paste, it now brings that form in and people can click on it and then they'll be able to fill the form out. So what does it look like when they fill it out? Well, they will have to type their name in. We've made that required. They then go to the next page. They can click and watch the video. They don't have to go to YouTube to watch it. They can just click and watch it directly in the Google form. And then you see below that they have their questions. And then at the end, they need to make sure they hit submit. And once they hit submit, we now have a record of them watching the video. And so from perspective, once this is done and we want to know who's watched this video, we go back to our main form. And then we look at the area here that's called responses. And in the response area, we now can see a summary of the responses. We can see that Ben Sangrath has filled this out twice. But we can also see the summary of the questions. So that could give us good feedback. as kind of what it looks like as a whole, because it's a summary of all the responses. And then you can also click on the individual and see the individual feedback here. So we can kind of see how each individual responded to the form. Now for attendance purposes, in order to best see this, and you want to see a list of all the names, we're going to click on this green icon here to create a spreadsheet. And when we do that, 
we're going to have an opportunity to create a new spreadsheet. Now, if this has already been done, if somebody else has already created this spreadsheet, then you don't need to worry about this. You should look in the Google Drive folder for the spreadsheet. Okay, but we'll go ahead and look for this as a creation. And then you can see as this opens up, now I have a list of what is your name, and then all of the responses to the questions that come up here, and a timestamp on when they hit submit on that video, or on that Google form. So that is how we leverage Google Forms to take attendance for watching videos. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks for watching.